Hello my scrappy friends and a big welcome to my YouTube channel today. It's Melinda Sweetman here with you and I have this layout to share with you for the Tracy Reads Designs um, brand new April release called A Flutter. It's absolutely beautiful collection. I love it so much um, and I am scrapbooking with a giant photo today. Um, this photo was a photo that was taken in the photo shoot that I said that I had done with my family at the beginning of the year. This is my two darling children. Um, and um, I, I'll share why I chose this photo and why I printed it so big in just a sec. Um, what I'm doing at the moment is attaching a half doily to the bottom of my photo here. Now, I did design this layout in Photoshop. And one of the pieces in the... Um, in the embellishments for the digital kit was a doily with some black stitching on it and I had overlaid it on my photo and then when I printed my photo I forgot to print it on there <laughs> so uh, totally inspired by the digital kit and I have used a real doily and then I played with the stitching on my sewing machine um, I've got a singer it's in the Tiffany blue color I got it a few years ago for Christmas but I've got some specialty stitches on there and I had a bit of a play with my machine and I came up with this messy zigzag which I really 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 love um, and so I decided to go with that and you can see I've gone around the four edges and I've punched a half circle from the top edge but if you haven't already played with the um, like the special stitching features on your sewing machine if you have any special features I suggest you do it it's, they're super fun different um, and yeah, I really, really love it. Uh, like I said, I was inspired by the digital elements in the digital kit for this. Um, so yeah, I really love that border that it gives to this. I have printed that wood grain rainbow, which I think is one of the entire team's favorite patterns from this collection. Uh, as a 12 by 12, I've printed that onto textured white cardstock. And I'm using that for my background. I did want to gut out the center, but I knew that I wanted to be able to slip this. Um, it's a traveler's notebook um, signature and a traveler's notebook pattern paper on the back. Um, I knew that I wanted to insert that in and add some journaling. Um, so I did leave that background as a full 12 by 12. However, with the digital product, I can print this pattern paper a million times if I want to. So I don't need to hoard the paper. But so the reason that I printed this photo at 12 by 12, um, I don't know if you have ever experienced this, but if you have, leave a comment in the description below. Um, the, this is a perfect summary of my children together. They're maniacs, they're crazy, they love each other, um, they torment each other, they pull stupid faces at each other, but it is just the perfect representation of who they are right in that moment in time and as soon as I saw her I was just like oh my goodness she's captured my boys in this photo in a way that doesn't happen very often. I have one other photo that my father-in-law took of my children. Um, I think the eldest was about six so probably you know half his lifetime ago uh, and it's kind of in a similar vein they're laughing they're looking at each other and giggling and it's just an adorable photo which totally encapsulated who they were but that's why I chose this particular photo to print so big um, it really does encapsulate who they are I don't know how well you can see it in the video but the one on the left Hunter my little one um, he often will will pull crazy eyes and he's doing that to his brother but like I said, this photo just encapsulates who they are as people and to each other right at that moment in time. So I just, yeah, that's pretty much what the journaling is going to talk about as well. I haven't done it yet. I didn't want to mess up, not mess up the card, but I didn't want to, you know, scribble all over the card. Um, but I will do that now. Um, what I've got down the bottom on top of that doily, so the word magic, and then those three mushrooms are all also from the digital... Um, from the digital embellishments they are um, the epoxy shapes I think uh, it's quite it's hard to tell on the video but they they look really 3d and when I stuck them down I did leave all that footage in 
I've used different heights of foam tape. I wanted some bits uh, popped up a bit higher than others. And so I've just used different dimensions of foam tape. That blue mushroom at the back is stuck right down directly to the photo. And then different dimensions all the way up. The two little arrows, um, all smiles, I think one says, and then, can't remember what the other one says. Um, you'll see in a sec. So they are from the stickers. And what I did is I printed all of these pieces and a few other pieces from the digital embellishments, the butterflies and some wood veneer and the paper folded hearts. Really excited to play with all of those. Uh, I've And some more of those words like the magic. Um, I printed those through Photoshop if you want. If you want, I can do a little uh, recording on my computer and share that with you to show you how I do it. And I did fussy cut them out, but obviously you could save them and then use your camera to print them out. But you can see what I'm doing here. Uh, I've just added some, a bit of pink ribbon with some like silver glittery bits through it and then some silver twine to tie it off. And then as a final thing, I wanted to add something that was not paper. So I pulled out some enamel dots. I'm going to go with three clusters of three. I'm going to go black, white and pink. And I'm like I said, I'm just going to do three little clusters of three. While I'm doing that, this collection is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you want to make sure you grab it this weekend uh, while it is on sale because it's brand new to the store. Um, it's all about, uh, I know it's the wrong time of year here, but it's all about spring, um, blooming, about growth. Uh, there's rainbows. The, the colours in this collection are gorgeous. Um, I'm looking at all the other bits I've got printed sitting right next to me and I'd much rather be playing with those right now than doing a voiceover um, because they're so, so pretty. Uh, but yeah, make sure you head over. Um, also in the description box below is a link to all of the other girls playing along with this YouTube hop. I think we've got like most of the team today, which is super fun. Um, but yeah, I always, I've, I've talked about this a little bit before on my channel. I really struggle with... Um, scrapbooking the the really special photos because I I don't want to and I use this term very loosely I don't want to ruin them uh, I can all obviously always reprint them so they're never ruined um, but I just want to make sure I do them justice and this like I said this photo was just a perfect encapsulation of my two children of exactly who they are um, at that moment in time and I just love it so, yes, um, you can see I'm mucking around with these enamel dots. I've got, I'm onto the pink ones and I really struggled. I don't know if you were watching, but I kept trying to put it in exactly the same spot that it ended up in, which meant I had to move another one and I should have just gone with my gut straight away. Um, <clears throat> my final touch is some black splatters. I've got my white gouache paint, which I've just activated, activated with a little bit of water in my little triangle thing there. A little paintbrush and I'm just going to add some splatters. Um, I don't add too many and there's not any really big ones but I feel like it's just enough with that black border. I feel like it just ties it all together. Um, I will add my journaling but that is my first project with the Aflatter collection. Like I said it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. Make sure you pop over to the Tracy Reed Designs blog so you can grab the complete hop list or check out my descri description box below, which also has the complete hop list. I hope that you have enjoyed my share today. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please make sure you drop them in the box below. I am more than happy to answer any questions or just say hi. Um, as always, thank you so, so much for choosing to spend your scrappy time with me. It really does mean a lot. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Um, give me a thumbs up, all of those fun things. Um, and I will see you in my next scrappy process video. Have a fantastic day.